Well, one of the tools that the Federal Reserve has at its disposal to manage monetary policy are open market operations. And open market operations are used relatively frequently and have been used very recently as well uh, to manage U.S. monetary policy. And typically what this takes the form of is usually purchasing things like U.S. Treasury bonds, U.S. Treasury securities very broadly. And so by purchasing U.S. Treasury securities, the Federal Reserve is accomplishing a number of different things. Uh, what it's essentially doing is, is it's creating demand for certain types of securities. And so what it does is it will essentially print more money. And then what it does is it actually purchases those particular securities with those particular funds. Just recently, quantitative easing three, the Federal Reserve obviously printed more money as a way of purchasing mortgage-backed securities as a way of lowering borrowing costs. And really how it works is by purchasing large amounts of, let's say, mortgage-backed securities, the Federal Reserve is essentially increasing the demand for those particular items. Now what happens is that usually th th those types of securities what they do is when the demand increases, that also causes prices to increase. Because obviously if demand is up, that usually means the supply of those is not readily available, typically making those more of a scarce resource, thus causing prices for U.S. Treasury securities, mortgage-backed securities, causing those to actually increase. And what happens is that the interest rates or yields that are paid on those particular securities uh, as the prices for them go up, yields essentially go down because prices move inversely to yields. Uh, and so obviously the yields being that well, what investors receive if they were to purchase a particular security. Now where this is important is that a lot of financial instruments are tied to these yields. Uh, so long-term securities, mortgage-backed securities, if the yields go down, those are tied directly to what we pay for our mortgages. And so what you see is mortgage rates will usually go down, thus lowering borrowing costs. And this is done from a number of different angles as well, in addition to simply purchasing mortgage-backed securities. In addition to lowering borrowing costs, what also happens is the Federal Reserve is essentially expanding the supply of money. They are injecting money into circulation that wasn't already available. Now remember, the Federal Reserve, it doesn't produce anything. Uh, so it doesn't have money existing to actually put into circulation. What it does is it usually either physically has that printed or it makes an electronic transfer, essentially, crediting a, a bank of some sort, and now it has more money. And then what banks can do is they can obviously loan these, these funds to consumers like you and I. And then we, hopefully, will in turn spend that money. And that, of course, puts it into the money supply, which is the idea. And by doing so, we are essentially taking the existing supply of money and we are actually increasing it. We are expanding the supply of money, thus making it so that more money is essentially available. And so the reason we do this is because obviously if more money is available in circulation, then obviously the likelihood that people would have access to those funds and be able to spend those funds, reinvest those into the economy, and hopefully jumpstart the economy is much greater. Uh, the problem, though, is that when you have more funds competing over the same number of goods and resources, then usually inflationary pressures start to pick up. And that's because there's not enough goods and services to go around, but there are more goods and or there are more funds, more money competing for those same re same resources. And so we know because supplies more limited essentially because we have more funds competing for the same number of goods and resources that gradually causes inflation to start to tick up. Uh, now it may not be a significant increase of course but it is something to be considered and that's usually why the hawks on the uh, FOMC which is the Federal Open Market Committee uh, and the Federal Reserve usually monitor inflation relatively uh, frequently before they're going to do any type of quantitative easing or open market operations because they want to make sure that inflation is at a somewhat muted level because it, it, inflation tends to be a result of these types of operations.